and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine and I'm the head designer and maker behind Sand and Stars. I design and create hand applique patterns and tutorials for those that want to learn the beautiful technique of needle turn hand applique. This is my little space on YouTube to show you some behind the scenes footage, um, share with you projects I'm working on and just generally talking about all things creative. Um, as a small business owner, although I should say micro business owner because that's what I should really class Sand and Stars as. But, um, but yeah, so this is another little weekly vlog that I wanted to do. Um, I know, I think before I said I was going to try and do them quite frequently and then I realised I haven't done one for about a month. So um, here I am doing a weekly vlog for September. Um, so yeah, it is now Monday afternoon and um, I have been doing a bit of work on my computer this morning. I'm currently running a block of the month series that started at the beginning of September and it's called the Delara Quilt and I'll just show you a picture of it here. And this is going to, this is a monthly program where each month you get a pattern for the block that makes up the quilt. So this month's uh, block is this one here. So it's uh, quite a simple, straight, sort of wavy line style block and it's quite a good one for people that are new to the technique of needle turn hand applique just to get into the rhythm of learning how to hold your fabric, do the stitch um, and then just following a pattern as well. So I'm currently working on finalising the details for block two which will be released on the 8th of October. So I've been editing that video this morning and took Kobe for a walk um, and now I'm just going to, um, obviously I'm doing this vlog um, and now I'm going to do a little video for Instagram because I'm currently hand quilting my finished Delara quilt um, and I just thought it'd be quite good to show the technique of how I do hand quilting um, and yeah that's that's it really I'm also working on creating some sort of one-off quilted pieces to release before Christmas well that's the plan anyway I'm, I'm kind of currently doing a couple of things so I'll just show you um, the cushion cover that I'm working on now here's the cushion cover that I finished over the weekend I realize there's a bit of a thread hanging out there so I'm trying to get sort that out but um yeah this is the cushion cover I worked on and it's a kind of a mixture of different bits of fabric that I have in my stash that I wanted to put together um kind of like a desert traditional text like Bedouin style influence on this um I really wanted to use kind of quite warm colors um I don't know whether it's kind of picking up the colours very well on the screen but the sort of dark, really dark kind of burgundy colours and dark purples. Um, so I've already cut out um, all the shapes and I should have enough to make four of these cushions. Um, they're all going to be the same design but uh, just slightly different um, layouts of the blocks and slightly different colourway just because I wanted to make each one unique, um, you know, if, in case anyone wants to buy the set of four or they just want one um, as a kind of like a statement piece on their sofa or whatever they'd like to use it but yeah so I, I might um, carry on to filming, not filming, sewing, <laughs> sewing the rest of those um, cushion front covers this afternoon and um, yeah I, I, can't, I can't decide whether I want to um, over dye it or not because some of these lighter fabrics this one here is got a bit of it's got quite a bit of grey in it. Um, and I'm just not sure how I feel about it with the composition of this piece. But, um, I'm gonna finish doing the other three and then I'll see how I feel after that. Um, and then I can always overdye it with a sort of slightly warmer colour. So yeah, that's it for this afternoon's project. So it's now um, 20 past five and I'm going to um, start on dinner but I also want to make some cake so I think I'm gonna make some I say cake I think I'm gonna make some brownies um, <clears throat> so um, yeah, I'm gonna use these this brownie recipe 
So it's um, a piece of cake from this cookbook, which I've had for absolutely years. I've, I've made quite a few recipes from it, and it's really nice. I think she's a Swedish baker or chef. Um, yeah, so these are the uh, brownie cupcakes I'm going to make, but I'm actually going to just make them... I think that's just like a... Is it whipping cream? Yeah, whipping cream. I'm going to make them without the whipping cream and just sort of brownie cupcakes. Um, but yeah, that should be quite nice. And then I think maybe as well... Um, I might make something from this for dinner. Um, there's a really nice kind of um, vegetarian flan in here that sounds quite nice. So um, yeah, hopefully it'll all taste good. That'll probably be it for today um, for filming, but um, tomorrow um, I'll do a little bit more filming because I've got a meeting with my coach in the morning um, and I'll take you along on that ride to meet her. Um, yeah, I'll catch you tomorrow. Tuesday um, and I am just about to do a little yoga class um, just a free class on YouTube I follow um, a lady called Erin Sampson I think her name is um, of Five Parks Yoga um, and I've just really I really enjoy her yoga videos and um, I think she's the only one that I've really kind of Got on with in terms of her teaching style and, and the style of videos that she does so um, I'm going to be doing that now um, and then I'm going to get ready and I've got a coaching session with a lady called Carly Ferguson and I've been working with her for about a year and a half now um, so this is our last session that I'm working with her to plan sort of what I'm going to be doing for the next the last quarter of the year with Sand and Stars so I have to get the bus in because my husband's got the car um, and if you're in the UK currently we're experiencing a unnecessary petrol crisis so um, I'm going to be doing the old-fashioned thing of going into my local town to meet her on the bus so um, it should be quite fun um, but yeah I'll take you along and introduce you to her um, I've already asked her if she's okay with me filming so um, and she's fine but, um, but yeah I'll take you along and um, but yeah I don't know what else I'll be doing for the rest of the day um got a couple of things as a possibility but uh but yeah we'll see when i get back from meeting her what i what i need to get done so yeah but for now i need to do some yoga coaching session with Carly um, and uh, yeah it was a really good session um, highly recommend doing something like that if you're if you have a business or um, just generally if you're looking to um, improve your work-life balance and try to figure out what um, sorry I feel like I'm gonna sneeze where you're headed in life basically um, so I'm looking forward to executing some of the things that we discussed over the next few months um, but yeah, I just got home and I've got um, Kobe waiting for a cuddle. Hey, you waiting for a cuddle, Kobe? Going to be doing a bit of work on my laptop whilst I'm sat in the living room. So I'm holding the camera a bit awkwardly. Um, yeah, doing a bit of work on my laptop. Um, 
I've got a couple of patterns that I want to write up, um, which I can do down here in the living room. Um, maybe watch something in the background. But yeah, that's pretty much what I'll be doing for the rest of today. Um, I don't know whether I'll be filming any more today because it's not going to be hugely exciting um, or varied. But yeah, I will do a bit more tomorrow. So for today, I shall say goodbye. Hello again. Um, so it's now Thursday afternoon. Um, I spent the morning, well, relaxing and we took Kobe for a walk, um, which was really nice. Um, and then I've just been doing a bit of housework and some food shopping, so nothing hugely exciting. And here comes the little furball patch because it's quite cold today and I think he's uh, definitely wanting a lap to, to sleep on for a few hours. So um, I shall hopefully be able to um, give him what he needs for the next couple of hours whilst I just do some work on my computer. But I just wanted to show you something else I'll be working on later on this afternoon and it's um, a new series that I'm doing on my channel here called um, uh, it hasn't really have got an, it hasn't really got a name <laughs> it's just a recreating um, an antique quilt pattern hand applique quilt pattern so I've prepared um, sort of the sequence of how I'm going to stitch the first block so I'll just quickly show you what I've done so far I spent yesterday afternoon just um, thinking about how I wanted to approach this block um, so I think I've got an idea of what I need to do first to um, start actually stitching it onto the fabric but um, but yeah if you're interested to know um, more about this then you can watch part two of the series that I'm doing about this particular um, recreation project um, but yeah I go into more detail of what I need to do and how I do it and sort of how I approach um, taking this kind of hand-drawn pattern um, and transferring it onto the background block which is this one here. Oh, the patch just pinched my seat. Um, but for now I'm just going to do a bit of computer work and then um, I'll do a little bit of filming of showing you what I'm doing with the block. Um, probably won't be talking, just a, a nice little video. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoy it. drawing the um, the pattern <laughs> onto the background fabric so as you can see here um, this is the back of the, um, the the quilt block with the design um, and now I'm going to um, start working on the blue sections so these will be the first sections that I work on um, and they're actually quite nice small sections so they shouldn't take too long to do. Um, and I'm going to be trying to film a little tutorial for Instagram um, just because I think last time I mentioned um, doing the back basting technique. I think a few people were interested in knowing how it's done. So I thought I'll try and, whilst I'm doing this, I'll try and film a little video at the same time and then upload that. Um, Cause it's always useful to have like a really short video to refer to if you're trying to do a new technique. So I should be doing that. And I've got, um, got a little fluff ball on my lap. And you can see. <laughs> Do 
you can tell it's definitely getting colder because he always wants to come and sit on your lap and just be near you and use your body <laughs> body warmth so uh um yeah so i shall carry on with that and i'll try and do i've got to try and figure out how to film um the tutorial but i might use this camera on my phone because the phone's got a fairly decent cam um, camera as well so um yeah so i'll try and show you what i do in that respect um and then hopefully you can see a little bit of progress on the front of the block as the design comes together with the colored fabric so oh and just uh i thought it'd be good actually to remind to go through what colors i've chosen so um this these are the colors i've chosen to go with so far um so if you refer back to the original colorway for the block and i'll put that up here and so the flowers are going to be predominantly pink um, and then with the red and yellow detail and then obviously the the leaves and the stems of the the plant will be this nice kind of mid green um, but yeah the hopefully it will look nice all put together um, I can't actually decide I do like this pink but I'm wondering whether this slightly darker pink would look nicer um, I'm not sure if I've got enough of this to do all of the um, shapes in this particular block but mm, I'm not sure I might just have to play it safe and go with this pink um, because I'm sure it will still look lovely but yes yeah, so I shall do that now good morning um, Friday morning now and I'm back in my studio and I've got to compete with Patch again for my chair. You can see he looks very snugly there. But yeah, I did a bit of filming for my other series that I've got on YouTube here. Um, and um, I'm just gonna carry on with the block this morning um, till about 11, because we're catching up with my auntie and uncle um, at about 11. So um, I thought I've got a couple of hours just to do a bit of sewing whilst um, before that chat. Um, feeling a bit disjointed this morning. I feel um, it's going to take me a while to get into doing stuff, but I thought a bit of simple sewing will do the trick. Um, but yeah, so I will do that and try and film a little bit of the sewing at the same time, like I mentioned yesterday. Um, yeah, it's just going to be quite a chill day today, no huge plans, um, but definitely lots of sewing, so I'm um, going to get cracking with that now. show you what I've done this afternoon um, or just finished off um, this is my hand applique um, antique hand applique quilt that I'm recreating and I've just finished off this flower head here this afternoon as you can see that's that one there and you can start to see it all forming together in its small sections and um, I've actually just written 
the date in the corner of when I started this um, block. Um, this obviously, this is in the Frixion pen, so it will iron out, but I just thought it'd be interesting to mark each block um, to show how long it took to make each one, and I'll probably try and record this somewhere else just for just for my own personal <laughs> reference. Um, but yeah, I'm really pleased with how it's looking so far. It's um, it's a nice slow process. Um, you definitely can't rush it too quickly. You need to take your time to make sure all the pieces are in the right place and that you're stitching it to the best of your ability. But um, yeah, I kind of feel a bit obsessed with it now. I feel like I just want to keep going, but um, I need to go and do some dinner now. So I think I'm going to end the weekly vlog here. Um, I hope you enjoy watching what I get up to, albeit not always hugely exciting, but an authentic representation of what I get up to behind the scenes. Um, I will do a few more videos on the recreation of the Hand of Plique quilt pattern, so if you're interested in um, following along with that, um, please subscribe to my channel um, so you don't miss out. Um,